briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The U.S. Supreme Court decided in 1978 that the construction of the Teleco Dam in Tennessee must be halted due to its threat to the habitat of the endangered snail darter fish. The case, known as the Tennessee Valley Authority v. Hill, presented the Supreme Court with a conflict between a previously authorized federal project and the later enacted Endangered Species Act. The Teleco project put not only the snail darter at risk, but also jeopardized critical historical and natural sites along the Little Tennessee River, which winds through Georgia, North Carolina, and Tennessee. Despite the district court's denial for relief, the Court of Appeals reversed this decision and ruled in favor of a permanent injunction on the dam's construction to protect the snail darter. The Supreme Court review upheld the permanent injunction and affirmed the Endangered Species Act's priority over pre-existing federal projects. The court rejected the argument that ongoing appropriations to the dam project automatically implied an exception to the act. The principle of protecting endangered species was deemed more significant than the potential benefits of the completed dam. When faced with potential harm to public interest, the district court could have intervened to prevent the dam's construction. However, the Supreme Court saw no fault in the lower court's refusal to put the injunction in place. Ultimately, the ruling emphasized that courts interpret the law without making value judgments on what is right or wrong. Notably, the court underlined that it is not its duty, but that of the Congress, to make amendments to the law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.